All right, guys, we are back with the five-star gold to Tonka play. So, in the five-star bronze video, we saw his setups. I'm going to re-show you to it again. We're going to start off with the vertical chop, going into the sh leaping shoulder block, followed by the pendulum neck or backbreaker. Now, in the five-star gold play or five-star bronze playthrough, I'm sorry, that we saw, this was only by three. Now it's by four. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch off Volkov here. We're going to throw on Xavier. Just because I want to see what's going to happen with this being activated twice in the first turn. So should make for an interesting, interesting setup. I'm hoping. As always, or as the same as before, still Fury on the belt. I haven't been able to unlock these two yet. I don't know what plate's going to suit him yet. There, I'm sure there's one or two that might do it, but as of right now, nothing really comes to mind. Mostly thinking an MP trainer just from, you know, this needing to recycle, or not really recycle, but something as a backup for if you get locked into a submission or something. Just a way to get these charged back up. So, we're going to fight Santa Hogan today just because the gem damage increase for the class advantage, I really want to see what his potential is. So let's hop on in and see what we can find out. Also, while this is loading, it gives me a chance to say, if you liked the new intro video, let me know. I'm trying out something new, trying to look a little bit more professional. All right, so we got Tonka and Hope. So we want to start off by putting the jugs down. We do have a three match here, so that's perfect. Let's put that over there. Hit our skip turn. Rehit the vertical chop. Activate that. And then we'll go three match. Those are pop. Now we're not going to hit the jugs again. That's the thing to remember. Since there's already two out on the board, really no true reason for it, but hey, we may just do it just for crafts and goodness. No, yeah, probably should. No. We're just going to do a little swipey swipe and see what happens. So, go with this one. Let's see what this damage really is. Almost a million, not bad. Now, see, at six star bronze, he gets a third black move that increases the black move damage. My thoughts on that are pretty straightforward. I really think that would switch out the skip turn. It would negate out control. And, I don't know, kind of allow more versatility, I guess. Now this is solely my gameplay. There may be others that have figured out a better way to play him. If you have, comment. Let me know what process you follow. So go there and there. And now, unlike the first time we did this, we're gonna hit here. We're gonna hit here. And let's keep it in the bottom line. Let's see, we got a good three spot. There we go. Skip turn. Now, still looking at roughly a mil. So, not something that can't be undone, but again, this also comes down to trainers too. I did increase Nakamura. Nakamura is hitting, I think, 6,785, something like that, um, per every black gem. If I could take him 5-star gold, I would, but I do not have the pancakes. So to me, this is just kind of like a back and forth of doing the same process over and over and over again. And hoping for better cascades. So, we're just going to hit that because we don't want to do the line break. That's there. Let's 
See, even at five star gold, he's not really making me think any different of him now. I still think he has a lot of potential. I still think he has his place in the world. Right now, I'm not fully seeing it on the damage. Again, six star bronze and that black move. I mean, on, oh, now we're looking at 1.1, so that's nice. Cool, he didn't kick out. Um, with six star bronze, that black move increasing the black gem damage could be severely beneficial. Um, instead of doing the stun lock, there's no real reason to go triple black with it. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but again, kind of comes down to timing and everything else. That skip turn really allows the juggernauts to not be destroyed. Why am I going back to the roster? Go to manage. Okay, so now we're going to try the build that I believe will be the strongest, especially if you slap a Z-plate on this. My opinions have been changing a lot with this card. There's no clear-cut way to run him effectively. We're just pumping these up just to get it past that. There we go. I want max potential with this. So, five-star gold numbers change. Aside from damage, you get five gems now. Still does a complete row, but the gem or the damage is increased, and now it's multiplied gem strengths of five, and then you get 24 there. So, the way I'm looking at this, let's go break it off, Stacy. So I'm using Hogan right or Taker right now. The way I'm looking at this is with the Z plate. You put those, you put down the one row, which is going to activate the Z plate, increase your gem damage. Then the multiply on top of that's gonna make it better. But, again, up for debate. I would throw my Z plate on there, but it's on Showboat Shameless right now, and I don't plan on taking it off of him. That, I don't have any play parts anymore. Scopely, if you ever see this video, please, please, please make the plate parts a little bit easier to access and make it to where it's not just one month, or 10, or ten moves in one month. Like, it's a little, it's a little much. So we'll go there with that. No, nope, that's not gonna work out well. <sighs> Looking for the biscuit. And we'll go here. Yeah, that's the reason why this doesn't seem to want to work properly in my opinion have to have that skip turn. The real, like, Seamus' build that's similar to this, I love it more just from the simple fact the, fact the pin bar doesn't move. It gives you options. Okay, so we were hitting for just under a million with that last build. This one's hitting for two. I think we just found out what makes him worthwhile. So I want to do that. I want to run that again. I want to see if that damage is still the same. This is the build that I assumed was going to be the strongest one. Now, obviously, the numbers are going to change in feud, um, especially the second feud of the month, because you'll have to double MP trainer him for that red or the red move to go off turn one. But we're going to run one more time. Let's see what we can come up with here. This is probably going to be a little bit shorter video, but he doesn't have very much to work with. Okay, so we're going to go here with this. And then we go here and here. Ah, oh, I shouldn't put it right there. See that. Mistakes have been made. Or have that. Let's go here. They have not been made. Fine. I think outside the box. Alright, still hitting just under two. Which is pretty, pretty strong for five star gold, especially one that's not fully max leveled. Okay, so we have our five star bronze playthrough that we watched at that time. The uh, Juggernaut gems seem to be the best. Just for consistency and control. In my opinion, if you're wanting to bum rush and you're wanting to get in and out of these victory tours as fast as possible because you don't really plan on using Tatanka in the future. This would be the build to go for. Your power slam into the neckbreaker, into the diving chop, 
use the power slam to get that <clears throat> extra turn. So that way the road or the countdown gems go off, and then you smack him with a diving chop, and you just repeat that cycle. So again, I know I got cut off before with the loading screen. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. Um, this is all raw footage. It's not going to get cut down or nothing. <clears throat> so like I said, if you guys like the introduction video, let me know. I'll tell me you know whether or not we keep it or scrap it for something completely different. This is the five star goal to Tonka. Again. I cannot stress this enough. I still think he has merit. I still think he has value, especially since he's a new gen. The other new gen acro is Snoop Dogg. And even though he's really good, I like Snoop. I just don't, I think he capped at five star gold. I don't think he is gonna be worth it at six star bronze. You can't use him in boss battles because you only get one rotation because the animation is so slow and so long. Tatanka might be a little different. I think he may hold some water when it comes to a boss battle where you need to, where it's multiplied gems or red gems increased. This will do it for a sweeper for all the bonus cards. I believe that the Juggernaut build is perfect for stipulation tours. If you don't have uh, Striker Honky Tonk Man or you do and he's still low because you decided not to take him all the way up. He fits, he has his places. He has multiple things that he could be good in. It's just trying to find it. It's like a needle in the haystack with this guy. So, but for new gen, I think he's above Snoop Dogg. I think if you have the resources to do it, I think you take him to six star bronze. One for his trainer ability, two for the new gen requirement. I think he'll do well. So if you like the video, like it, subscribe, share to your friends. Let's get this channel growing. You guys be good to yourselves, be good to your family, love each other, and have yourselves a great day.